I guess what drives me to tear things apart, some of it is necessity, and some of it is just experimenting, because I'm always pushing things past where it's supposed to be. Crossing a Gibson with a Fender was out of necessity, because there was no guitar on the market that did what I wanted. What I really loved about uh, a Fender guitar was the vibrato bar, except they only came with single coil pickups which in high volume, they squeal, and they're very thin sounding. Uh, Gibson made humbucking pickups, which were similar to these. Uh, they canceled the hum, and it has a, fat, a much fatter sound. And I proceeded to take a chisel and, and a hammer and make, make a <laughs> hole big enough for a Gibson pickup. I wondered if it would work if I just took the, the humbucking pickup straight up to one knob, and it worked. So uh, I'm sitting there with a blank piece of wood with the guitar. It sounded great, did everything I wanted. Uh, and I painted it black. And um, I'm going, this looks kind of boring. And there's some tape laying there. And I just started taping it up, take a razor blade, just cut pieces out and, and spray painted it white and tape over it again and spray painted it red. Yeah. I'll never forget Alex and I used to run every concert at the, at the Forum in L.A. And uh, Led Zeppelin's playing, and, and Jimmy Page is going like this. He's going... And he's got his hand up in the, air, in the air, and I'm going... So basically, I just moved the nut. You know, figuring that, that out, then, then I started actually making uh, little pieces, you know, like, like eruption. you just play until the day you die. I feel like a six-year-old punk kid who plays guitar in a rock and roll band and, and so blessed and so honored to be able to do that, making music with my son and my brother.